life. We see it all around us. It is everywhere we look. Life is revealed in a myriad of shapes and sizes, in every imaginable contour and color. We are surrounded by its beauty. And as biologists, we are particularly awed and inspired by life's functions. We see incredible complexity in single cells, from phagocytes growing in petri dishes to paramecia living in pond water. We see astonishing adaptations in multicellular organisms, from cryptically colored stick insects to the spines of a saguaro cactus. We see effortless elegance in self-sustaining ecosystems, from the temperate woodlands on Calvin's campus to the tropical waters in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. We even see the beauty in ourselves, in mind and body, as image bearers and earth keepers who are fearfully and wonderfully made. Over 400 years ago, Galileo said, I do not feel obliged to believe that that same God who endowed us with sense, reason, and intellect intended us to forego their use. God indeed has given us incredible minds. The biology department of Calvin is committed to equipping our minds and the minds of our students to explore creation. With 16 faculty members, all with doctorates, we offer majors in biology, biotechnology, and environmental science. The department provides more than 45 courses, including bioethics, immunology, genetics, animal behavior, and restoration ecology. Learning occurs in the classroom, laboratory, and field, but students will also experience it in unexpected places, like off-campus interims in Costa Rica, Belize, Ecuador, and the Galapagos Islands. In parallel with these diverse learning opportunities, the biology department strongly emphasizes academic excellence. Our students' MCAT scores are typically among the highest of all colleges and universities in Michigan. Medical, dental, and veterinary medicine schools accept approximately 90% of Calvin applicants, compared to a national rate of 30%. Graduate schools accept nearly 100% of Calvin students who apply for graduate admission. But the strength amidst such diverse and rigorous programs is the one-on-one -on -one interactions with professors. Stephanie McElroy, a senior biotechnology major and future genetic counselor, has experienced some of those interactions with biology faculty. I love the faculty. They always ask about my personal life or my other classes, and I feel that they really care about me as a person um, as well. And I've really, I've been able to develop very good relationships with lots of my professors. Um, you know, even professors that I've had two years ago still say hi to me, and I really enjoy that and feel like I've gotten to know them as a person too, and not just as a professor. During these types of faculty interactions, students are encouraged to think critically and creatively. Dare Odumosu, a senior biology major and future pediatrician, appreciates how Calvin's biology professors teach him how to think, rather than telling him what to think. He uses the analogy of learning as a full course dinner. Having a professor tell him what to think is like cooking a meal and feeding me. I wasn't there when they prepared the meal, and they just set the table and I just ate it. But someone teaching me to think will be inviting me into the kitchen while we cook the meal together. They give me guidance in cooking the meal and we come together and we sit and eat the meal together. This development of critical thinking skills occurs in a learning environment that also provides service learning experiences, off-campus internships, and faculty supervised research. Such research uses state-of-the-art equipment in state-of-the-art facilities, which include an 85-acre ecosystem preserve and new interpretive center. Calvin's biology facilities are unbelievable. When I came to Calvin from Harvard Medical School, 
I immediately realized that we already had all the facilities and equipment I would need for my research. We have a large and state-of-the-art uh, cell culture facility. We have a gene gun. We have a DNA sequencer. We have an array of microscopy and imaging facilities of every kind, fluorescence, electron microscopy. And we have a flow cytometer for separating and measuring cells. There isn't a cell biology experiment I can't do here at Calvin. Because the biology department knows that technology supports learning, it has spent more than a million dollars on new equipment in the past 10 years. Most of this has been funded by grants from the National Science Foundation, the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, and private donors. The department support staff includes a full-time laboratory manager and an equipment technician. But what really separates Calvin's biology program from others is that all learning occurs within a Christian worldview. We take very seriously our calling to integrate what we learn from reading the scriptures with what we learn from studying the living creation. One of the areas in which this is most evident is how we explain the diversity of life on earth. As a Christian, I love the fact that God created everything in a very conscious effort. The professors have caused us to think about how our faith works into our vocation. And when it comes to vocation, Calvin's biology department believes, as preacher and writer Frederick Beekner so eloquently put it, the place God calls you is the place where your deep gladness and the world's deep hunger meet. Calvin biology graduates live out their callings in hospitals, laboratories, nature preserves, and classrooms. As stewards of creation, they joyfully keep the earth as physicians, ecologists, zookeepers, occupational therapists, teachers, and cell biologists. Uh, the best part of my job is the way it combines two of my loves. Um, my love for nature and being outdoors, but also my love for teaching others. Um, I'm able to mentor college students and show them how to incorporate the outdoors into educational settings, but I can also work with um, children. Whether they are managing zoo populations to maintain biodiversity on our planet, discovering a new plant species, or counseling a family facing a medical crisis, they are well prepared to serve the world with all their hearts, minds, and souls. As our students leave Calvin, we know that they become transformers of the world, bringing a deep knowledge and abiding love of creation to all of their callings. They are doers of the word and not just hearers. When our graduates teach children, manage a greenhouse, or help wounds heal, they are spreading the light of Christ. Indeed, this is our Father's world. And all of nature is singing. The rocks, the trees, the skies, the seas, each declaring our Maker's praise. At Calvin, we lend our voices to this wonderful chorus. We invite you to join with us in that song of worship to our Creator. The Lord is King, but the heavens ring. If you're looking for a biology program and a college that will challenge you academically, challenge you spiritually, encourage you to grow, expand your horizons, and prepare you for your future, then Calvin is the college for you.